From dumb to dumber. First, they robbed a national shooting organization, and then they stole something that automatically sent pictures of their faces to the people they stole from. Here's News Sartine's Alex Tomlin. Jessica, they took booze, guns, ammo, and a camera they thought had recorded them in the act, but they didn't know the camera was still doing its job. Kicking back on the couch or walking through the front door, to Misty Miller, these pics are priceless. See, the pictures are likely of two men who burglarized the Single Action Shooting Society last week. And we realized it was a clear picture of them inside a residence somewhere. And that's when it got really kind of funny. It was, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> the men showed up when no one was at the Shooting Society's Edgewood Ranch and kicked down the front door of the main house. Did some damage to the frame. They rifled through everything, taking ammo and a lot of booze. Approximately 30 or 40 large gallon bottles of various liquor. Then they hustled down the road to the workshop, cut the metal cable and took something more troubling. They took six antique rifles. They're certainly going to raise a red flag if they go and try and, and sell them. The thieves then realized there was a security camera attached to this beam and took it home with them. What they didn't know? The camera starts snapping away when it detects motion and automatically sends pictures back to the owner's cell phone. The sheriff says his investigators are about 90% sure they have one of those men identified in the pictures and are trying to track him down. He wouldn't give me his name, but did say he has a history of burglary and drug crimes. Jessica? Okay, Alex, the camera has stopped sending pictures, meaning the thieves probably figured out what it was doing and disabled it.